Okay guys, this is the driver's side front wheel of a Prius Prime 2017, okay? So, I am the original owner of this vehicle and um, I've been working on this vehicle. You've seen it many times on my channel. So, these are the original front brakes. There is still a bit of life left on them, probably about 30 to 40%. But I'm gonna change them out anyways because I'm at a hundred and almost 190,000 miles, guys. Like, it's ridiculous. Um, let's see. 189,740 miles. Okay, that's a hell of a lot of miles. Original brakes, dude. Original brakes. Okay. So... <clears throat> going to be kind of long start from the beginning number one make sure you chalk the wheels dude i tell you what it's not worth dying over make sure you have a good jack this is a three ton jack i'm going to show you where i use the jack point this is what i do it's totally up to you guys what you want to do but it's on the metal frame over there and then for safety I use this jack jack stand so you've got your backup to make sure you're doing this stuff safely so you don't kill yourself man freaking ain't worth dying over all right so get a breaker bar to break these all down real quick fast forward this part and all I used this is a 21 millimeter socket okay 21 millimeter right there with a breaker bar I love power tools got my little magnetic tray Throw them in there. Okay, and so all I did was, I just got this Makita drill. I just have this adapter that fits into here. Okay, works out pretty good for me. I don't have an impact wrench or anything like that, and you really don't need one. vehicle in case my vehicle falls there you go that's my third safety third safety thing with bobber okay and then now that we're here i'm going to try to do this one a little bit faster than the last one you need a size 14 Okay, I've got this Milwaukee tool. You don't need to have anything fancy. I just bought this not too long ago. So you gotta loosen those. Oh, that came out. There's one down here, bottom, bottom. Let's see if you can see that. Got another 14 right here. Okay, so we're gonna that. done. Okay, so that's a 14 millimeter socket. 14 millimeter guys. And then for the front brakes, I did not disconnect the battery, but I'll probably disconnect the battery for the rear brakes. So here's the brake pads. Just make sure you take a picture of this so you know how it looks in the setup in case uh, you screw up and want to know how it looks like when it goes in properly. So here's the hardware. Uh, 
Might not be a bad idea to use a screwdriver, kind of pry it open like that. Or something inside there. There it goes, there's the first one, okay? So, I probably got about 30%, 30% life left. Here's, here's the new one. Tell me what you think, okay? Yeah, maybe 30% left. 190,000 freaking miles, guys. Pretty damn impressive. So, <clears throat> at this point, I'm gonna take off the old hardware. Right here, you got two pieces. Well, three total. That's the first one. Here's the second piece. Okay. All right, so, I'm gonna put this onto here. And I've got some of this silica slide gel compound. I guess you can use this for your brakes too, but whatever. I'm not going to use any of this stuff. Um, it's up to you guys, man. You guys do whatever makes you happy. Okay. I'm just going to show you how to do this yourself so you guys can fine tune it. So I'm going to rip this part off right here. Just kind of comes right off. It's kind of annoying. I might need pliers actually. Um, yes pliers I carry my handy dandy leatherman okay so I'm just gonna kind of rip this up rip this up and out there you go okay make sure you guys put that back into the here's the new pad and slide that on boom just like that she's good to go and we just did our first one okay so that was pretty easy right nothing complicated so at this point i am going to put it in the bottom there <clears throat> and stick it in through the top right there guys boom she's in and she's done that's how freaking easy this is and they charge you what freaking three four hundred dollars to do these things it's ridiculous dude Anyways, hope you guys like this video because I do it myself to show you guys how to do it yourself. Give it a thumbs up. Okay, let me see if I have something softer to stick in there. It's a plastic. So just kind of wiggle it out like that. Okay, boom, just like that. <clears throat> Make sure you take a picture of this so you know what it looks like when you put it back on the other piece. Okay, so here's, again, we're gonna, that's the back, this is the back side. So we're gonna go ahead and take that off. It's two pieces again, see that? One, two, put it on the new one. The black one's gonna go first, fits on nice and easy. It's not dirty, honestly, this is not that dirty. Like, give it a scrubbing, guys, if you want, okay? This is not dirty, so I've seen way worse. It's pretty good condition. And then don't forget, don't forget this piece, okay? So you got to rip that out with the pliers. There it is. Just take a pair of pliers, man. Just song you can buy the hardware if you want i'm just reusing it to be honest i got no problem with reusing this hardware if it's working don't fix it man okay oh yeah okay it's kind of annoying might want to open this up a little bit more and then slide it in. There we go. That's kind of what it looks like. I'm going to wiggle it into place right here. Yep, it's all wiggled into place. And that is what it's supposed to look like. All right, so we're going to slide this back in the back. 
everything is good to go. And you can do, honestly, if I wasn't videotaping this, it goes so much faster. It's ridiculous how slow it takes to have to tape everything. So that's why I say give it a thumbs up. Okay. Okay. So give it a thumbs up. And then I got that. That's in. That's in. And then you got this over here. All right. Number one, never, never let this hang. Okay. And to use this, this thing slides. This plate slides in like that. I was like, how the hell do you use this? This is a number four. I just stuck it on because it seems to fit. Okay. Make sure I can get this in there. You can use a C-clamp as well, man. Like I've used, I've used a C-clamp to do this. No problems, guys. I had no problems at all using a C-clamp. Oh. Let me move this up. So you guys can see what I'm doing. Okay. So I set this in there like that. Okay, and then you make adjustments to make sure it's make sure it's nice and tight. And then you start twisting this. And if you watch this carefully right here, it's gonna push in. Okay. So I'm gonna twist this right here so here is the start and just kind of twist it like that see how it's compressing this piston ring it's pushing it in and I'm going to go until I can no longer go it kind of you'll feel it it just stops and you can't go anymore but you see how it just kind of keeps going like that boom okay that's it it's done ah, time to loosen it up so I'm going to loosen it up Take this out. And we are done, done, done. Okay. So then, here's the easy part. Now, obviously, I did this pretty damn quick. So. That's because I already did the other side. Okay. Oh, right here. These things right here. Uh, the slide. Slide pins. You want to make sure that they move. Okay, they've got rubber boots on them to protect from getting stuff in it. You just kind of want to make sure they're moving, okay? And that they're not stuck. See that? So, if it's moving, it's good. I don't need to lubricate it. I'm not gonna mess with a rubber boot. Slide this back on. Push that if I have to. Push that as well. And that, guys, is all you have to freaking do. Okay, so this is from beginning to end. How to do the front brakes. The passenger side, is exactly the same okay I did not disconnect the 12 volt in my vehicle to do the front brakes but I do recommend you do it for the back brakes which I'm gonna do okay so <clears throat> then I'm gonna tighten it up Was that an easy to do brake pad replacement? Okay, here's the thing. The rotors, they still look good. There's no warping, okay? They brake just fine. There's no shaking in the steering wheel. I usually don't replace my rotors um, depending on the type of vehicle, okay? Now, obviously these are fine. 
you guys do what you want to do. If you want to, if you want to replace the rotors, you can. Um, I don't really do that on my vehicles unless it's warped. So, or you can get them resurfaced. So, anyways, please, it really helps me out. Give it a thumbs up, subscribe. Um, I'm gonna go do the back brakes in my next video, guys. This is the passenger rear of my Prius Prime. I'm gonna show you how I do the brakes on this one. Okay, here we go. I'm just gonna kind of show you how I do it. Everybody does it different. Um, we'll see how it turns out, okay? So I already loosened the, already broke the, used a breaker bar for these. When you torque them, make sure you torque them back to like, whatever the specs are, it might be 90 foot pounds. Or about donkey kick this. <laughs> Throw this under for safety so you don't die. Throw this. Okay. 14 to loosen it. So. That was easy. Let's see. show you guys what I did so I had a 14 millimeter okay so I just stuck that in there and I go left to loose all right this one same thing this is the same thing down here below I don't know if you guys can see that okay there's a bolt there two bolts Okay, so both of them are loose. I'm just gonna get my power tools, because why not? Move that plastic piece. Okay. Done, okay, that's the first one top, here's the bottom. You don't need any fancy tools. You can just use the regular one of these. All right, so I'm gonna pop this out. Let it rest on this. Actually, not while we're here. I'm gonna go ahead and just push that back. I don't know if you can see that. I'm gonna go ahead and push this back right now because that's the hard part so let's do the hard part now make sure you have the right tools this one that's what i'm using i'll show you here in a second so it's got the four prongs on it it's got the four prongs make sure it's aligned So I'm gonna push, compress this back. And if you can watch carefully, let's see if you can see that. So as I turn it, it moves to the right, okay? And so, so that's what you want. And then you gotta adjust this and fiddle with this a little bit more. There we go. And so I'm gonna, uh, let's see, it goes right. that more okay then you turn it to the right and it keeps compressing that's kind of really annoying guys that this shit doesn't always work smoothly <clears throat> but you got to keep doing that and then so yeah keep turning it right but it's it's moving it's compressing you're gonna keep going all the way, like that. Let's see, give you guys a better view here. 
All right, so there you go. Tighten that. Oh shoot, it's, it's kind of coming out of its thing here. It's kind of odd why it's doing that. That didn't happen on the other side, but should be fine. Let's see. We'll just keep going all the way, see what happens. Oh, definitely, the rubber's kind of acting a little weird, but okay. So I think that's all of it, okay? So, hope that's all of it. Should be fully compressed. That looks fine. It's just being a little funky weird. Sometimes I saw this one guy use pliers. He just twisted it that way. Just freaking twisted it with pliers. Like this. I was just like, what the hell? But it worked. There you go, like that. See? So, I guess it works with pliers too, man. Just. for how that works it's just one of those things that you got to twist you know it's kind of freaking weird kind of weird if it works it works you know you don't need fancy tools and shit Well, we'll see how that works when I put it back in. So I'm hoping there's enough space there, but you kind of see how it's moved. Yeah, it's kind of gone back in. So uh, let's see how that goes. Then we're gonna replace the pads. Let's see. Oops. I'm gonna let it rest here. All right, here's the first pad. Again, this one just pops right out. Take off the hardware. There's only two pieces. This one's pretty worn out, actually. So there's the first piece. Here's the second piece. Actually, <laughs> this is both pieces together. One and two. some of that black grease you can throw some of this grease on okay I threw some grease on right there hello how are you oh good First one. Here's the second one. Take off the hardware. There's two pieces. One, two. Again, make sure you pay attention to this. That's on the bottom. Here's the hardware. Get some grease. You know, the grease on it came with it. throw these on it's the hardware You're good slide that in just be mindful there's that little spring right here so make sure you put it on the spring I'm gonna take this 
I'm gonna slide this on. Done. Just like that, guys. Now, one thing you can do, check these guide pins. Make sure they move. Okay. Make sure they're not too stiff. It's a success, guys. This is another success. All right. So my first pads lasted over 190, 190,000 miles with 30% left. Pretty freaking impressive. And then all you have to do is take these nuts and bolts. Slide them in. Start screwing them in. That's it. Okay. Top and bottom. And then you're done. Down here on the bottom. And I'm probably going to use my tool for that. Because why not? <clears throat> what I bought it for. Okay. <sighs> okay, and the first one, pretty tight. The second one, down below. You can also use your 14 millimeter. Just tighten it. It's tight. Keep it tight. Yep, that's tight. Okay. Okay, so that's done. We're done, guys. That's how you do the back brakes. Here's the old ones. Okay, not much life left. They kind of wore out pretty good. Um, again, 190,000 miles. Can't complain. I'm going to throw the wheel back on. At this point, this is what you guys got to do is give me a thumbs up. Showing you guys how to do this stuff. It's not easy. It's time. i got to upload the video, this and that. <clears throat> if you look at my tires. Bridgestone Weather Peak. I like them, but man, they wear out quick. Freaking real quick. Red compound is very uh, soft and it's used year round. So when you put your wheel back on, make sure you look at the inside. Make sure it's centered. So get down low. If it's not centered, you need to center it before you put the freaking before you guys put these in. Okay. You gotta do the stars across, okay? So, <clears throat> first one. So that's the first one. And then, you wanna look on the inside. Make sure that bolt is centered. If it's not, you gotta make adjustments to it. You don't want it to go too far to the left or right. It's gotta stay centered. So these are pretty centered. So, at this point, at this point, you want to initially hand tighten these because you don't want it to cross thread. Because if you do that, life's going to be a pain. Okay, so do it by hand first. tighten first that one across that 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 okay and then <clears throat> I'm gonna move this down a little bit torque it to about 90 to 100 foot pounds um, and then I'm going to take it for a test drive. I'm going to give you guys an update and let you know how it works. Okay. Again, 
subscribe. It helps me out a lot. Don't forget to also give it a thumbs up. I'll be back and let you know how it drives. This is the last wheel. I just did all three of them with the uh, with the brake pads. Well, guys, I'm driving in my Prius. I've got 190,000 miles. The brakes are working great. Okay. Um, no issues, man. No noise. The windows are down. Can't hear a thing. Yeah. Just drove around the block. Pumped the brakes a few times. It's working. It's working fantastic. Like nothing. No weird sounds. No scraping sounds. The brake job was a success. I would highly recommend you guys do these if you need to. Do it yourself, man. It's amazing how much these freaking dealerships, dealerships, and brake places—they all freaking charge a ton of money. You know. It's like if you can do it yourself and you think you can do it successfully without causing any more damage I would highly recommend it I am parked and done okay so <clears throat> I just drove around a couple blocks in the Prius and honestly it's working great the brakes are wonderful I pumped them down here you know, I pumped the brakes down here they feel, they feel solid okay um, no issues. I mean, I might need to bleed the brakes still later. We'll see. But 100 and, almost 190,000 miles, guys. And I just did my first brake job. Wow.